Faux Fringe by Raquel Welsh. Shown here in the color R2, otherwise known as Ebony. There are 25 color options available. This piece is made with synthetic hair, which means it will retain its shape when washed, but it cannot be heat styled. The hair in the front measures three and a half inches, nine inches on the crown, and eight inches on the sides and back. The base measures eight and a half by six and a half inches. It's a good idea to measure your area of loss from front to back and side to side and find a topper with slightly larger dimensions for a comfortable fit. This piece has a large enough base that it can be suitable for those in the early, mid, and even sometimes in the progressive stages of hair loss. Or for those wanting to add volume or coverage on the crown and to try out a fringe without the commitment. Let's take a look at the construction of this topper. This topper has a small hand-tied monofilament section for a natural look on the crown it is lightweight and made with open wefting to allow for good breathability. This would allow you to pull your own natural hair up through the wefting to integrate your own hair on the top. There are four pressure sensitive clips. Here's how to open and close the clips. This piece is a little darker and a little shorter than my natural hair. However, I'll show you how to put it on and blend with your natural hair. This will give you a good idea of the coverage this piece provides. Part your natural hair and center the topper on your head. Gently hold your topper in place with one hand. Find the front clip, open the clip, flip it away from your head and gently slide it flat onto your head, scooping up some of your natural hair. Apply pressure to close. Repeat on the opposite side. If your topper is positioned how you want it, go ahead and attach the back clips. Using a wide tooth comb, gently blend the hair of the topper in with your own natural hair. Faux Fringe by Raquel Welsh is now available to purchase at hairweavon.com.